Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. online course on writing skills. I am Dr. Divya Gupta, an assistant professor at GLA University, Matra. Today we are going to deal with notice writing. In our previous lecture, we have already done, this is the 13th lecture, which is entitled as notice writing. In our previous lecture, we have already done formal letter writing, informal letter writing, business letters, their types, difference between American and British way of writing and drafting letters. Further, we moved towards resume writing and after drafting resume, we learned how, how are we going to face an interview. But remember my dear students, while concentrating on writing skills, notice is actually the most important and integral part of it. Now, we will move towards lecture 13, notice writing. I hope that you people are doing and working well at home and basically doing all those exercises, all those questions that I generally give in my lecture. So, what would be the learning outcomes? After completing this course, all my dear students, all my dear learners will be able to know the format of notice writing, the actual format, then we move towards format and principles, we will move towards the usage of words, how these words could be used in a proper manner to create a very impressive piece of writing. Further, we will learn to develop the understanding of notice writing. What is the urge? What is the need of notice writing? and how this notice writing is very much different from circular letters. So, we will learn the grammar, format and content. After that, you would be able to analyze the prospect of writing skills in reference to current professional demand. So, you are not going to stick to conventional way of writing the notice. Rather, you have to be very particular about the professional demand, the current professional demand of notice writing. Then we will see that how these, these, this notice writing and circular writings are interconnected. There is a long association between them, but a slight difference is there. So we will get to know the similarities and dissimilarities between notice and circulars. Because many people say that circulars are almost similar. But no, there is a slight difference between circular and notice. We will learn all these things. Further, we will see how are they important. The notice writing, we will learn that how this notice writing is very important for all the learners. Then, obviously, we will learn the power of writing a composition. That is selection of words, then employability of those words. One by one, we will go on with the punctuation the order of the selection, the format basically, then word power and then employment of all the grammatical structures that are there and research and revise about. Whatever you have written, you have to revise it. Why is it important? Because it is a legal record. Circulars can be floated and could be mailed to people in the form of letters. But notice, because they are pasted on the notice board or bulletin board. Remember, my dear students, anybody can take those notice as a legal record. So, revise it before pasting it on the notice board or bulletin board. So, this is the power of writing a composition. Then, learn difference between British and American way of drafting notice because it depends on the way you draft the letter, the, the notice basically, where you think about the date pattern, the formats and what is the current requirement of writing a notice. Then obviously, last but not the least, W's. What are the five W's on which you are going to lay your emphasis? So, 
all of you please beware please understand and learn everything with dedication that is my humble request because that will be that will consist of at least 5 to 6 marks in your paper and once you would be perfect and i'll tell you the marking scheme as well so with the passage of time you will learn how these things will become perfect for you remember so let's start with this in this we are going to do several things what is the content basically how many topics are we going to deal with it how many sub topics we are going to deal with it deal in this particular notice writing so the first thing that we are going to do is format we are going to do format writing and template writing after this format and template after learning going through step by step that it would be center aligned it would be left aligned right aligned and again the capital letters everything will be notified and then for the marking scheme you have to understand the marking scheme on which you will be marked basically one mark for format two marks for expressions and grammar and the way you write the content then two marks again for several other expressions so we'll take up one by one all those things then power we have already discussed five w's of notice writing we'll do this again and then for the connection of notice writing with email writing and with the other one analyzing examples and usages so we will do one by one with examples that what is notice writing and its sub parts format template categories and the way we are going to deal with it so with this i would like to raise a question everybody might be thinking what is notice writing are these really very important for you yes certainly perfect question perfect answer to this question is that notice is generally pasted or printed on the bulletin board and it is a piece of information remember it's a piece of information that is supposed to reach the masses the large amount of receivers are there in that condition so you are going to target the huge masses in this condition through this notice writing and so what is that it is a warning either warning maybe you are making the people aware about something or so for example public notices are there then we go on with some kind of like intimation of something intimation is telling you more details about something so that is intimating informing so and further it is a written and printed information or announcement notice basically is a form of piece of information that is supposed to reach to the masses in a written in a written and printed format further we used to have these notices published either in newspaper or magazines or maybe sometimes they are posted on the notice board pasted on the notice board sometimes and on the bulletin boards as well so these are this is the whole platform on which we'll develop our understanding of notice writing remember my dear students now notice writing format and template what is the template of or what is the format of writing the notice now you all must know that the word limit would be 50 remember my dear students the word limit for this is 50 not beyond that you're not going to write long long pages in it okay and then further you should remember that following things are mentioned at the top of the notice in the center following things what are they they will be notice first of all name of issuing authority and place are mentioned name of issuing authority remember my dear students whosoever is issuing that notice for example abc company or xyz school muradabad or xyz uh, company xyz industry limited private limited so the name of the issuing authority will be written on the top in the middle of it then appro appropriate heading is required appropriate heading is referred to whatever the topic is for example annual sports day awareness program blood donation camp any type of notice will be like the heading would be notified what is the use of writing the heading any answer any any clues 
because it clearly indicates that this particular lecture or this particular notice is regarding is related to the description of the following thing understood so the uh, heading plays a very important role it clearly gives you gives the reader glimpse of what is going on then further by after writing that heading you will understand that date date of issuing the notice should be mentioned now what is the date of issuing like suppose if i am issuing that particular thing if i have a program blood donation camp on 16th of um, june suppose if i have a program on 16th of june now what will happen i will write i will issue the date i will issue the notice on either 15 days or other 10 days before or maybe 2 days 3 days before so you would say that 10th june will be the date of issuing 10th june 2022 will be the date of issuing because inside that in notice you will notify that date time and venue of blood donation camp is that clear so date of issuing would be different and the inside date date time venue will be entirely different because suppose you have taken up the dates of before dates earlier dates and then you will quote that certain program is going to be held later on in future after maybe two days or three days like that so this is what you must clear it like in your brain in your uh, like uh, subconscious mind that date of issuing will be different from that then purpose of drafting the notice should be highlighted what is the purpose of drafting the notice what is the reason behind writing the notice change of office timings maybe or uh, six days working in uh, metropolitan cities so basically the thing is that you should understand first of all the purpose of drafting the notice then you should name date time and venue of the event date time and venue of the event you must remember that all these things are very important because this this is actually what you are going to convey the information who is organizing what is organizing i will take up all these things gradually so date time venue is very important to mention in that notice signature name and designation should be mentioned at the end remember like letter writing we don't have any salutation over here dear sir dear father dear brother dear sir, uh, madam no there is no salutation in notice letter writing in notice writing whereas in letter writing we do have salutations but over here we can believe we can have the complimentary close the at the last part but again again it could not be called as complimentary close because there would not be yours faithfully yours sincerely rather the signature name in capital letters and designation okay so yours sincerely yours faithfully will be avoided then further it will be written in a box in a box within a box you will start writing the notice first of all everyone then you will write this thing this thing this thing we'll do it with an example and let's see suppose this is the format of notice writing now i have a piece of paper this is very much clear to you first of all i will write to draft a notice in such a manner right i will try to draft a notice now the first thing that i will do is over here make a box after this box what i am going to do i am going to write down first of all on the top of it i will write down the name of the organizing issuing committee for example if i say abc school abc school kanpur right now after this i will write i will leave one line spacing and i will write n o t i c e notice in capital letters in capital letters remember this thing right after this thing we are going to write date date would be on left hand side of this particular thing so remember left hand side means over here suppose today is 19th may uh, the date of issuing 22 left align that will be left align remember my dear students left align now many students will get confused that most of the time dates are written on right hand side as well 
okay so please don't get confused if it is on right hand side then also it is acceptable because that is the difference between american and british way of writing clear and block formatting plus semi block formatting so that is no difference if you are writing it on right hand side but remember my dear students left hand side left align pattern is much feasible so after this thing remember that you have to first of all you have to written the name of the issuing authority then the notice because you are writing a notice and then left hand side date and then further you are going to write the heading for example if i say blood donation camp blood donation camp now in this condition what will happen everyone that you all have mentioned all the details these three things will carry one marks remember this is what the format is all about then further we move towards writing our composition our body or content from here only where date has been written like it will be left aligned completely left aligned like letter writing then we will start with either there are two headings what are they you will write this is to bring to your kind notice this is to bring to your kind notice that right this is to bring to your kind notice that yeah what is the other thing that you can do is you can write all the residents all the residents or because this is a school all the students are hereby informed is that clear hereby informed that is that clear then you will write that is that clear everyone so this is to bring to your kind notice either this one or this one all the residents all the students are hereby informed that now date time venue and what is the purpose so that a uh, blood donation blood donation camp is going to be organized going to be organized please mention the language grammar that i'm using i'm using is going to be organized passive form of it remember my dear students so all the residents students are hereby informed that a blood donation camp is going to be organized on suppose 19th may is the issuing date i may have the program on 24th of may 2022 so this is the date at medical at medical show at medical or you can say health center at health center kanpur so this is the venue date venue again at 10 am is that clear everyone or you can say from 10 am from 10 am till to 5 pm is that clear so over here i have mentioned date place and date venue and time understood now you will add this is clear to everyone shall i clear this thing and move on to the second step of writing the notice writing notice or drafting notice now in this condition remember i deleting it so that we can start with our next paragraph the next paragraph will certainly start from here now look at this i am going to interested interested candidates candidates may give their names their names to give their names to the undersigned to the undersigned is that clear now to the undersigned this is the whole body of the notice now we move towards the end part of it after leaving one line space this is not yet complete after leaving one line space what will be your written uh, point of it 
let us see I am just rubbing it and I am just coming up with the next part of it what would be the complementary close or, or not exactly the complementary close because there would no be there would not be uh, yours faithfully yours sincerely like that ok. So, now let us start I hope you people are noting down everything noting them in your brain in your copy in your notebook so that you may you may mesmerize everything remember everything at the end of the day and what would be the end of it you will write secretary you will write uh, you will write suppose this is the pattern where I was doing it now what will I do I will write down Sarita Sarita within brackets S A R I T A because this is the spelling this is the signature as I told you and then full name in capital letters and then further at the end you will write down the chairman of the chairman now chairman of the college so this is perfectly fine designation remember my dear students it should be written within 50 words not beyond that ok so this is the format of writing or drafting a notice everyone but remember since it is a legal record you should keep that in mind that you are not going to add any irrelevant material over here because that will be taken into consideration if any legal action would be taken against it remember so this would be the whole pattern or format of writing or drafting the notice now with this note we will move forward towards the tips to ace notice writing skills what are certain tips to ace ace is to make perfect so how will you be perfect at notice writing first of all you have to come up with the factual and normal information the formal information that is required date time venue date time venue purpose these four things are very important so it should be factual if you are having some data along with it please try to incorporate it but the word limit should be word limit should be 50 only remember my dear students you cannot exceed 50 words why because that will definitely lead to the deduction of your marks then further you must use passive voice as I told you is going to be organized is going to be organized now in this condition what is what's that it's again a passive form you should remember everyone then you should avoid personal pronouns personal pronouns means I V we are not supposed to add I and V in that rather you would have to use the third person pronoun that means like keeping yourself keeping the writer aloof from it ok so you would say that so and so ABC school is going to organize an annual sports day on so and so date ABC school I am not going to write our school is going to organize no it is wrong clear you will certainly write that uh, an annual space sports day is going to be organized or national science day is going to be organized on 16th February 2020-22 in the conference hall at so and so time or between this time these timing slots so I and we should be avoided I am going to organize will be wrong we are going to organize will be wrong last you should remember that use direct narration in that condition don't use that indirect narration remember my dear students it should be the direct one clear then further we move towards the next thing marking scheme what is the marking scheme of drafting a notice and getting full out of full when you are there appearing for the same question now what is the marking scheme look at this writing on the center line the part notice name of the authority title who is whosoever is issuing the notice right so name of the authority then signature writer's name designation will be added and along with that the title is heading heading so these three things on the top along with date along with date will be mentioned over here so these three things all these three things will carry one mark then we move up to the body of the letter now in this condition what is the body of the letter body of this notice basically date time venue 
when, where it is going to be organized. Target group, who are you to address the people like whom are you addressing? Is it the students, general public or you are targeting somebody from the association, the participants? So, it depends whom you are targeting and the agenda. What is the agenda of writing? The agenda again deals with the, uh, the short composition, the short information about any event that is going to be held. Then further we move towards the expression that carries two marks, body of the notice and then how are you expressing. So, in this case no matter your grammar is incorrect, but still you will get one mark for format then 2 marks for the date, time, venue, target, group, agenda, etc. Then 2 marks for expression. How you leave that expression? How are you impressive enough? Coherence. Coherence is connecting one part of it with the second part. One paragraph with the other paragraph. You must remember that all these things are very important. Coherent is connecting one paragraph with the second paragraph. Remember my dear students. Then we further move towards spellings and grammatical structure. Spellings obviously you being the student from any background, any, any background I must say. Is it from engineering, medical or professional courses or arts, humanities. So, there has to be some specification. If you are writing any kind of any kind of grammatical structure, any kind of skill, any kind of like piece of information, please draft it, revise it, recheck it twice, thrice before posting it. So, remember spellings and grammatical accuracy is very important that carries 2 marks again. Is that clear? So, if it is of 5 marks, 1 mark for format, 2 marks for body and 2 marks again for grammatical structure and for grammar accuracy, spellings, vocabularies that you are using. Further we move towards the next part that is 5 W's of writing notice. Now what are these 5 W's? This, all these things actually they are the gist you can say. The summary or the highlighting features through which you can be the winner. You can be the winner. You can be the perfect drafter of notice. What is that? What? What are you going to do with this notice? What is the reason behind it? You must have this information. What is the purpose? So, this is, denotes the purpose. Then when it is going to be held? That is when means time. It will, it, you must have that definition in your brain when it is going to be held. Where is again the place? The place where it should take place. Whom? That means whom are you addressing? Whom are you addressing means like suppose or suppose like as if I told you the participants, the residents of that area or the students or general masses. So, whom are you addressing? That matters a lot. Then who? Who? What does it mean? That who are the eligible candidates to participate in it? Who are the eligible candidates to participate in it? So, what? When? where, whom, who, they are 5 W's to answer and to draft your notice accordingly. Then we move towards the connection of notice writing with circular letters. You might be wondering at many times that circulars are almost similar like notice, right? Because circulars do have the word limit, they will certainly be written in uh, not more than 50 words because it is a short form of summary of any information that you want to convey. But how are they different from notice? They both convey the idea, they both convey the information, but what is the basic thin line that segregates notice writing and the other circulars? First and foremost thing that you should remember about notice writing is that it should have it should mean or it should be meant for the audience, for the larger audience and unspecified larger audience like whoever watches that particular notice board or bulletin board will get that information. Okay? So, this is 
this is particularly very important remember my dear students second which you should remember is circular letters whereas they are written for specific group of people whom you are sending like suppose circular letters if i am writing any circular for the whole uh, university i will send a circular to the university and in that condition i will send an email to specific people to the hod's and then those hod's will separately send it to different authorities different uh, junior section people so what will happen circulars may specify may be sent to specific people through mails or in the form of letter second it is posted on the notice board bulletin board notices are actually posted on the notice board or bulletin board in previous and ancient times it used to happen that they used to get the people used to get the information through the bulletin boards only okay and i'll give you an example of the same thing and uh, we'll definitely go through it further if i talk about circular letters it is sent in the form of letter or email to specific people remember my dear students it is sent in the form of email it is not pasted on the bulletin board okay so you have to keep that in mind then notice is can be used for a legal authentication anybody can take a picture anybody can take a print out of that notice and prove it as an uh, as a legal document that this company has provided or pasted this notice on the notice board it clearly indicates that this 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 okay so remember but a circular can sometimes be treated because this is they are specifically meant for few people only and for example show cause notice show cause notice generally is meant for specific people it is sent through mail many times so next we move towards analyzing examples when we talk about notice writing remember my dear students there are many type many places where we get confused that which type of notice writing am i going to draft or which type of like notice am i going to draft is there any kind of difference between them or is there any kind of like specification that i should have so remember we are going to take them one by one for example if i say change in school timings this is the topic now looking at this i have drafted this whole thing and it will be written first of all within the blocks so you have to draw the block you have to draw the block everyone then issuing authority st peter's college delhi notice in capital letters then 24th september and the year change in school timings this is the heading so whatever the heading is should be precisely written in 3 to 4 words not beyond that a long long heading could not is not feasible actually so further you will start with the body of the letter but can you see this left align pattern everyone there is not even a single inch difference in that because once you would certainly be able to do it you can be the winner or you can write in a very excellent manner so now look at this because since this is a school notice so this has to be addressed to people to the students out there so all students are hereby informed about a change in school timings from 1st october 2020 22 the e school will now start at 9 am and end at 3 pm so that is change in school timing so it is clearly indicating the date the date from which this particular this particular Uh, order will be carried forward will be taken into care will be uh, implied and the timings are mentioned now in past few years reason is again very important while telling about while changing any kind of system while bringing about a change in the system so in past few years it has been seen that winters are rather severe and it becomes quite difficult to start early due to the extreme cold weather and the dense fog so it has clearly indicated that what are the reasons behind it right it's not at all like just sending you the message and sending you the details that's it you have to come up with reason but that should be of 50 words only 
that should remain within 50 words limit right and further so those so these new timings will be followed till further notice and who is issuing this particular thing who is the signing authority principal understood everyone so first of all you should remember that block should be made which is very important then heading whosoever is the issuing authority then notice date and then heading for the body of the whole notice and issuing authority now this was the example of a general notice from the uh, school authority now because it happens many times we get to see that okay there is a uh, notice regarding lost uh, articles in the school lost book lost wristwatch lost bag or lost um, um, uh, you can say pen drive so these are the things generally and people used to paste you prepare the notice for the same and paste it on the bulletin board to make the students aware about it okay so look at this example again block will be made for the same thing everyone first of all you have to draw the block and after drawing the block what will you do you will write the name of the school who is issuing this particular notice then again notice and lost wristwatch is again the topic so this clearly indicates that heading or the title could be could either shift at this side could either shift below the date or could shift to this side as well right understood everyone so this is a modification which everyone should know and further after this you should remember that date 7th august 2022 okay and then further date of issuing now lost a black strap white dial titan wristwatch identification whenever you write about any kind of identification of the object is very important when you write about the date when when you write about any lost article identification of the particular object then what is the ident after the at identification you will write that at which place at which place date and time it was lost place date and time it was lost and then further you will write the uh, whomsoever or to whom one should contact contact details so that if anyone finds it that person can deliver those things to those particular person contact details and after contact details are you going to get your things back without alluring the people no so you need to have a kind of temptation you need to have a kind of motivation for the other person to submit or to deposit that lost thing so you will allure that person with a treatment that whosoever find it that whosoever find it find it may get the suitable award may get the suitable award is that clear everyone so this is a kind of alluration or you can say the temptation for the finder so for the for the person who finds it now with this note we'll move forward towards the same thing and where we'll talk about lost a black strap white dial wristwatch in the school playground where it was lost okay i told you that place where it was lost during the seventh period time yesterday date is that clear everyone anyone who finds it please contact the undersigned in class 7th a remember 12th a so in that condition please remember that anything the details contact details so class 12th a undersigned you should remember to anchor incorporate the details everyone and obviously last but not the least the temptation finder will be awarded with a treat in the canteen okay so this is what you should remember while finding while drafting any kind of lost notice okay so something is lost you can draft a notice in a wonderful manner and just tell him what is right and what is what is correct and what is incorrect 
Now we will move towards the next one. Suppose if somebody finds anything, because it, it really like uh, it, a slight difference is between them, okay. But the, but the change in uh, depiction of everything will uh, certainly be entirely different. So, just remember everything will remain the same like this name of the school, authority, uh, notice and then found wristwatch. In this condition again the date will be mentioned, but how are you going to deliver the body or the content of the notice? Are you going to tell all the details? No, otherwise everyone will come and claim for it, okay. You must restrict the identification in this condition. Restriction of identification means you are not going to tell each and everything. Rather, you will simply say a black strap white dial titan wristwatch is found in the school playground during 7th period yesterday. Now, rest of the details are missing. Now, what, what are the other details that you are missing over here? You know that titan, white dial, you have black strap. Now, what else can a person tell you about? He could tell you some specific identification, maybe some kind of scratch on it, maybe some kind of details about the wristwatch, if it is a smart watch or something like that, okay. So, just try to give some specific or hide some specific details so that the finder uh, or the person who may claim it in a proper manner. So, now, what is that? Whomsoever it belongs may collect it from the undersigned. Whomsoever it belongs may collect it from the undersigned and obviously the finder will be suitably rewarded in that condition or you can say that uh, a proper reward is promised. A proper reward is promised for the founder like that. Okay, is that clear everyone now? So, again the same thing, this will be written and with this note, we will move forward towards the next notice writing where um, now at this particular point, we have learned how these school authorities draft a, a notice and paste it on the notice board. And now we will see that how particular uh, societies draft a notice. And in that case, what happens? The name of the society comes on the top. It will be written within the block first of all. And then after that block, you should remember that the society's name will be come, will, will come over here, okay. So, will be there name of the society and then to which area it belongs, place, then notice again, date. Now, what is the title? Suspension of water supply. Now, you should remember that you are addressing this particular notice to the residents. Residents are hereby informed. Either this or you can say all the residents are hereby informed that or you can say all the residents, residents are notified that, okay. All the residents are notified that water supply will be suspended for 10, for 8 hours from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on 6th March for cleaning of the water tank. This is the information, sufficient information. And what is the rest of the thing? Residents are advised to make necessary arrangements to store water for a day. We regret the in inconvenience caused. So, over here, who takes the guarantee of it? The secretary. Who is the issuing authority? The secretary of the committee. The secretary of the whole committee or the society will definitely draft a notice. So, he is the signing authority. So, Karan Kumar is actually the signing authority who is going to issue it. But remember that I am not writing yours truly. Am I writing this? No, because this is the notice. I am not going to write any kind of any kind of complimentary close over here. Remember. So, this was the basic notice writing on when, when any society is actually drafting any notice for you, okay. Then we further move towards the, again, making the people aware about the COVID guidelines. This is a general notice. You can get it published in the newspaper as well. And even government notices also are, comes in the same manner, where the authorities who is issuing it, then notice, then date and awareness about COVID guidelines. 
Now, in this condition, you will straight away go to the main point. What is that? Wear mask and use sanitizer. This is the particular thing with an exclamatory mark. After the weather change, cases of COVID-19 have increased rapidly and engulfed several innocent lives. So, the school keeping in view, keeping in mind the student's health and safety has decided to allow the students to wear mask and use sanitizer regularly. So, this is a public notice. This is a normal notice where people are or students are made aware that they have to, it is mandatory to use mask and sanitizer during COVID-19 situations. And who is issuing it? Obviously, the principal is the issuing authority. He can put a signature on the top of it like this. Clear? So, so that it could be authenticated that okay, this person is, this particular notice has been passed or has been issued by the signing authorities of the college. Then we further move towards another example. It's a very common one of annual sports day. Many times you get these type of notices where you get confused that okay, what are the things you have to mention? Again, the same thing, name of the institute. Then notice, date, heading. Either you can write notice in small or you can write in capital letters. Please remember my dear students, many students may get confused that okay, I have seen at various places that notices are written in caps, in capital letters. Whereas uh, in this, uh, at, at, in the first one I had written in capital letter, in the next one I have written in small because it could be adjusted. Then further the dates as well, the writing pattern. In our previous lectures, we have discussed the American way of writing the dates and the British way of writing the dates. So please don't get confused with it. Go through those lectures. You can very easily identify that where and how are you going to use the American way and the British pattern of writing the dates. Then further this is the thing and this is an, again a very nice drafted uh, notice. Again, the block will be made on this. Please use a scale and a pencil in that condition so that so as to make the proper block. Now, this is this is to bring to your kind notice that our school is going to celebrate annual sports day, date, time, venue. So, on 30th November, students are hereby informed to enlist their names for participation in various events to be held on sports day. So, you are going to invite these people, interested participants may contact and may give their details, may, may give their names to the undersigned. The list of the events, gymnastics, 150 meters race, long jump, this is a small information about the activities that are going to be held. So, 200 meters relay, short put, kho kho, please give your names to the undersigned, latest by the 10th of November during the zero period in the sports room. So, you have clearly mentioned that you want your names basically from this particular slot to this particular slot. These are the timings and these are the, this is a particular venue where you are going to report. Raghav Sports Secretary. Understood? Now, with this note, I hope that notice writing concept is very clear to all of you. And this is again a very normal example of any official notice that comes. Till now we have been doing, we have already done the uh, school notices, the notices of lost and found and uh, organizing any, uh, any, any program, any kind of event function or uh, any kind of like uh, you can say a big event and national event, international event on the school level, on the school platform. Then we moved to public notices as well where public notices in the, those we are, we started or we learned how to come up with awareness program, with all those blood donation camp programs or any society notice. Now we will move towards the official notice that generally used to come when we are there in the uh, per periphery of our offices. We get to, uh, we get several, uh, we have some uh, notice boards and bulletin boards out there where these notices are pasted. Now look at this. RK Steel 75 Hathras Nagar, New Delhi. This is actually the, uh, you can say, the heading or basically if you are using the letterhead, 
remember my dear students letter head could be used for this okay letter head of the company could be used to draft a notice so on the top hand side center aligned you will write this particular if if you are not using the letter head you will write the name of the company the name of the company and then you will write the address is that clear everyone address and city so these three things are very important further on right hand side as if i told you there is no discrimination nothing is like that uh, or you can say writing dates on left hand side or writing dates on right hand side hardly matters nothing no actually no system or no format is superior or inferior over here it depends on the requirement okay it depends on the conditions in which you are writing and who is going to read it so that will be written in on right hand side notice now in this case notice and then what is that the first and third saturday will be working for all the employees in lieu of diwali festival vacation in the month of october this day nd rao director chairman board of governors so it is like that okay and again this will be written in blocks what is new in this have you noticed anyone what's new in this in this particular thing the most important thing is that i have added cc what is that because this particular notice has been issued and the copy of this notice has been forwarded to the chairman copy cut c to the chairman to the board of governors like that you must remember that all these things are very important in this when you talk about cc when you talk about um, like writing the copy cut c this is very essential when you go for any kind of official notice writing is that clear now we shall proceed towards the next part usage certainly we have learnt each and everything okay we have learnt all the parts but the point is that you should remember that all these things are very much valuable until and unless you utilize them in a proper manner now what is that proper manner actually and utilization of those knowledge that particular knowledge of writing and drafting notice is very applicable in any company how is it applicable in any company in that condition you should know that initially all the news reached the masses through official notices i would like to give you a quotation in that condition or some kind of like fable or parable as if i told you i'm going to tell you one parable you might have read the last lesson of alphonse dodet in that last lesson it was very beautifully quoted by a small boy who was going to his school france his name was france and there was a kind of like atmosphere of franco prussian war in that condition what happened at that particular time of uh, segment of uh, particular uh, uh, issue there was a war going on franco prussian war and french were defeated finally what will happen like as that boy was getting late for his school and that bulletin board came in the middle of it or we can say like as if he was just passing on he just passed through the hall where the bulletin board was pasted was was there and people were just uh, sprawling and they were just yelling they were just reading out something from that bulletin board that boy innocently said is there any news related to the war because in ancient period generally they used to get the war informations on the basis of those bulletin boards so that innocent boy said that okay they received all the information related to war with reference to or with uh, the help of those bulletin boards so i have just given you the exam example of that little boy where they got the information that only german language will be taught in the schools of elsass and lorraine and that was the information pasted on the bulletin board 
for all the school people, for all the school authorities that only the German will be taught. So, in ancient period the value of notice was like that. Even in, in the present current era, we are getting every now and then public notices and they are very much printed in the form of advertisements in our newspapers. So, remember my dear students, I have just quoted this one, the last lesson and Franco-Prussian war was going on and the, the orders that came on the bulletin board was that it was important because it provided all important inf official information, orders or news of the country to the people of that area. Bulletin board can also be called as pin board and notice board in British English. So, this is the usage and even nowadays government also come up with public notices, tender notices. So, be ready if you are going to join any professional firm, you will be asked to write down or draft the notices in that condition. And with that note, remember that what and how these uh, bulletin boards are very important. You should remember that it should build interest of the public. It should arouse interest of the public remember and it should motivate the people to go on that same track, right. If there is a tender notice, you should remember that all these tender notice clearly identifies or tells you the details about the requirement of the government firms so that you can try, you can start or you can fill your tender accordingly. Then you go on to the conclusion part. Throughout this particular lecture, we have done step by step what are the five W's of this particular uh, notice writing, then what is the power, how can you be so powerful using the punctuation mark, using the punctuation mark and then that is power, then using yes. So, over here you have learned the punctuation mark, order or you can say the format of writing it, then word selection, you have learned the efficacy of words, how it can be comprised within 50 words limit, then you have learned how that word empowers your writing, empowers your writing, you have really understood everything and in that further you have to review and revise everything. You have to review and revise everything with, before posting it on bulletin board. Remember my dear students that all these things are very important. You have learned how notices are the conventional forms of record and to decimate and uh, disseminate information. You have learned very well that how these words are recorded, how these actually like notices are the permanent record for legal actions and how they disseminate the information to the public masses and then further I have referred these books where I have gone through and found the references from found the or cited several examples several formats from different different books. So, they are like that. Thank you for now everyone. I am Dr. Divya Gupta an assistant professor from GLA University Matsra. So, I hope that you people are learning step by step and moving towards the pinnacle of the successful career that you are going to plan, right? Thank you everyone.